right? For some reason, I thought I was doing alliteration. Like, nah, I think it can't be Ryan. Ryan Rally. I think I'm thinking Ryan just because it's Rally. <laughs> Oh man, I haven't been to the beach in forever. This feels nice. Yeah. What's that? We got a little beach that they built over there. They got something going on this weekend? And hotels, getting a hotel down here was crazy. We had one, uh, we had a reservation and then we showed up and they said, yeah, we're, we're overbooked and Expedia didn't, they were supposed to cut off the reservation. We can go down here and make a right, I guess. So then we had to go find another one and everywhere we called. Oh, how you doing? Everywhere we called was full, so we finally found something. Probably in the worst part of town, but oh well. Oh, okay. Hey guys, let me turn this around here. So we're out here. Out here in... Uh, Corpus Christi, on the beautiful beach walk or whatever, I don't know what this is, is there a name for this place? Just Ocean Drive, out here on Ocean Drive. Got my uh, trusty steed on my back, my AR-15 there. Um, I was here back in 2014, I did a walk out here with uh, Open Carry Texas and uh, Come and Take It Texas. I think, I think that was before the split and had no issues back then, but of course it was a big group of us too. I remember going on the beach and like one of the dads was, he was like, oh my gosh, come here, let me take a picture. And he wanted his daughters to hold, hold our rifles. And like one daughter was like all real good about it. How y'all doing? And uh, the other daughter was like holding it almost like, like it was going to break her or something. It was really funny. But anyway, so we're doing another, I'm here with Ryan, hey Ryan, doing a uh, quick walk and exercise free, it's a beautiful day out here, I mean it's, it's kind of overcast, but it's a cool breeze, much different than Central Texas, that's for sure. Something going on down there, it looks like. Oh, okay. Oh, crap. So there's a lot of people down there. Uh oh. This was not. And up here. Oh, is it anything historical about it? And on this day, back in 1794, all right, so there's a lot of people down here, so. Nice little inlet here. So they built this beach down here? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you should be able to drive up and down here, but then they closed it off. Is it just on the weekends they do that? Or? No, oh, all the time? Yeah. They built these parks and that way they can have more events. 
parks for people downtown, I guess. I don't even need my sunglasses on. Wonder how the water feels. I bet it is. There's definitely no uh, surf, surf weather or surf waves out there. How y'all doing? Alright. See, I didn't know they had built this. We we came. This is where we came down to last time. So I guess how long ago did they build it? It had to have been a while ago. some sand soccer out there. See what's interesting, so nobody's like, oh about two years? HBO Matt said it's been about two years they cut off traffic. Hey, I'm I'm good like that, man. I, I find out when my friends are not in town, and that's when I that's when I go. I, I I try to get the maximum benefit. Ryan here eluded me, so I missed one. You gonna be back in town tomorrow, Matt? Mmm, the smell of porta potties. I'll tell you what, though, it smells a lot better than I think. Even that porta potty smells better than anywhere in New York City I went. Look at this, though. My gosh, they ain't coming out here cleaning out the trash. Nobody seems to care. That's a good thing. Yeah, I like that. See, everyone said, you know, the gun control crowd, they think, oh my gosh, you carrying an AR-15, you're just trying to freak everybody out. It's going to scare everybody. I don't see anybody scared. Nobody cares. You got kids here, women, old, young, white, black, Hispanic. I mean, it's... Oh, you even got a ref out there, so they do have a game going on. It's like, yeah, it is a tournament. There's the the system right there, all their points and all that. How y'all doing? Well, she didn't say anything. Either she's uh, incredibly clueless and didn't pay attention, or doesn't care. That's probably the latter. In uh, Ecuador, they have, they play soccer, but it's like a half-size soccer ball, and it's almost like on a, a tennis court. It's a really small indoor court. You can, really the only out of bounds is if, if it goes out of the ring, uh -huh. but you can kick it against the wall, because it's got like, I don't know, like two foot walls on each, all around it. So you can kick it into the wall and like around somebody. Let's watch a little bit of soccer here, beach soccer.
that's got to be rough because, like, you don't know where that ball is going to go when it hits because it might hit a divot. I played soccer when I was a kid in high school. Yeah. Soccer, wrestling, and tennis. Those were my uh, unmanly sports, except for wrestling. And then there's a guy who won soccer games and did kick, kick the ball 68 yards to make a goal. Really? The goal is, I guess, too far forward. Yeah. The guy came up and he just did like a Hail Mary kick and then just went over oh. everybody and right Oh, away. man. All right. I guess keep walking. Uh, see if anybody's uh, for us uh, here on the... Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to be in Oklahoma this 4th of July. Oh, Bow's over here? Hey, someone let Bow know. I haven't seen Bow in a long time. Got a little kid soccer too. See, this is uh they call this the Joe Biden League because it's a bunch of little girls. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Oh, they got one. How are y'all? Good. Oh, sorry. Hi there. I need something. Oh yeah, that smells good too. I'm not even hungry and that's making me hungry. They need to put smell-o-vision on these uh, live videos. Well, heck, I should just do an open carry scooter ride. <laughs> What's that? So we're out here, uh, any algae blooms going on in the water? I don't know. Should we go look at the water? I don't want to go walk in the sand. You got Crocs on, that'd get all in your... I don't see any algae blooms out there. I guess we can uh, kind of turn around here. That is a pretty husky.
So, uh, got my trusty uh, Blackjack Firearms AR-15 on my back. Hey, Greta. Wow, thank you so much, Greta. That'll definitely pay for a tank of gas on the way home. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. How you doing? Uh, yeah, so we're out here again at uh, beautiful, beautiful Corpus Christi. Doing an open carry walk with my buddy Ryan here. Ryan, hello. Peace. Haven't seen. When was the last time? When was the last time we saw each other? Golly. First time. No way. You weren't at Almost Park? Nah, I tried to get there. I couldn't get up there. Oh, okay. I follow everybody. I feel like, I guess because I just see everybody on Facebook. So, first time. All right. So, I've known Ryan here, though, for a long time online. I'm always meeting people for the first time, and you don't realize it because. You talk so much online. Now it is getting a little, I mean, the wind feels great, but it's definitely humid out here. About 88 degrees or so, 87. Feels nice. I'm glad I wore shorts. I hardly ever wear shorts because I don't want to blind everybody with my white legs. That's why I wear these, these bright shoes. Because if I wear these bright shoes, it takes the shine off my legs. My ultra white legs. Almost Eric Swalwell white. I'm not that white though. Yeah, I found it for that felt the fifth one when you're giving away those five points. Did you did you get one? Yeah. Okay, okay. Now I've got some patches too. I haven't done a another uh, thing for them, but looks like they got a soccer tournament, a beach soccer tournament going on down here today. That's got to also be hard for a goalie because you can't plant your feet and dive very easily. This is him, so much fun. So if there's y'all just joining us, so I've had, we've had at least three officers come by and nobody said anything. So this has been a very successful event Corpus Christi is obviously a gun friendly town here hey how's it going How y'all doing? Good. That's four. I smell pot. I smell pot really bad. At least that's what I think pot smells like. I wouldn't know. Is uh is Corpus a pot friendly city? You know, one of those where they won't like get you for minor possession or whatever oh, okay yeah I wouldn't know about that <laughs> good golly you think you're at a 420 festival or something out here it was I didn't smell that when we went that way Birds are getting fed out there. Oh yeah, well no one can carry into a courtroom, that's for sure, or a courthouse. Oh, you can carry, oh good, yeah, see in Temple it's the same way. We can carry into our, because our municipal court is also where we pay our bills. And so, uh, 
but they use the same lobby and they don't give us a problem down there and down up there in temple as long as you don't go into the courtroom itself which is the way i think the law was intended to be we tried to get that fixed thank you dennis bonin for squashing everything let's see if i can get a there we go look at that there you go yeah so i decided to carry it on my back today i don't know why i'm feeling friendly i guess Okay, yes, Corpus Christi is pot friendly. Our DA will not prosecute, and so PD won't snatch people up. Oh, that makes sense. That's why I smelled so much of it back there. Pretty sure they were having a, a pot fire, kind of like a bonfire, but it was pot. A pot fire. That was a lot of. That wasn't just like a little joint I smelled. It's like a Bob Marley concert. Definitely a lot more peaceful down here. Oh yeah, I can bring my, this is where I could launch my kayak. Oh, yeah, I thought I forgot to bring my bike and then I realized I was driving my wife's vehicle today. I didn't have a place to put my bike. Otherwise I'd have done a big bike ride. Very peaceful out here. Very peaceful. Hey, Greta, again, thank you. Absolutely. 420 friendly, you better believe it. You know, it's funny, I was watching, or was listening to a news team about, I think it was about Colorado or something. Or no, it wasn't Colorado, it was some new state or city that had passed something about uh, possession. And they were, and, and I just thought it was funny because I don't think they realized what they were saying. They were talking about you're allowed to have one plant, I think it was. And I thought about how absurd that sounded. Oh my gosh, the government's letting me have a plant. Thank you, thank you, overlords, for allowing me to have a plant in my house. I mean, if you just look at it that way, that's that's literally what it is. The tobacco leaf is more harmful. They want to use uh, scary words like marijuana, hashish. Well, you're helping me to be able to do more of it, that's for sure. When I uh, get back, I plan to do a lot more traveling. And before I leave to go to law school, because uh, unfortunately, come August until December, videos because I will be in my first year of law school which is basically hell week for an entire year uh, for, for lawyers and so I'm going to be really buckling down but I plan I will keep uh, I will keep doing content I'll probably even just do more produced content and commentary as opposed to uh, open carry walks. Although, no, I'm still going to do open carry walks. Don't get me wrong. It'll just be in the normal course of my day, and it will be somewhere else.
That's a pretty dog. Oh, thank you. What kind of dog? Is it a mix? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like a mix with a retriever. Okay. It's a mix of some sort. I don't know. Still a beautiful coat. It's a rescue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, thanks for rescuing her. Hey. Come here. Hi, Harley. Come here, Harley. Or him. Yeah, it's a boy. Him. Harley. It's okay, Harley. I know. I'm a cat guy. You probably don't like me. <laughs> All right. Y'all well, take care. Uh -huh. God bless. Is that a shaved? That's a shaved husky. I have never seen a shaved husky. How you doing? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, he looks. He's looking at that other dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> he cares more about the dog than me. He does. Hey. At least sniff me and pretend I'm here. There we go. All right. Hey, you too. Be safe. Yeah, yeah. It takes the. Uh, I find. It. I actually got him at the outlet. Uh, I figure out my my legs are so white that I gotta wear shoes that take the attention off of them. You know, off my whiteness. You too. How y'all doing? Uh, my plans for open carry. No, my my. Uh, I I obviously think open carry. I've been helping the states. Well, the two states that stand a chance anyway. That's South Carolina and Florida. I've been working closely with gun rights activists there, um, via phone and internet, email, all that kind of stuff, trying to help them get open carry in Florida and South Carolina, New York. Um, Illinois and California are lost causes. Did you know it's weird? A lot of people don't know this. New Jersey is actually an open carry state. But good luck getting the license to do so. I think five people are probably allowed to open carry legally if they're not cops. But, but yeah, New Jersey is an open carry state, but not New York, California, or Illinois. But um, those are the five states that are left. Those are the dominoes that need to fall. And South Carolina and Florida. South Carolina, I think, has a better chance at this point than Florida does. But Florida has, I think, the stronger fighters right now. And so if you just base it off of activism and people actually taking a stand to do something, I think, I think Florida probably has a better chance than uh, South Carolina for that reason. Because I... I mean, South Carolina's got some groups, but they're not very organized, that I can tell. Here's the Whataburger we ate at when, when we came out here. They were gun friendly at the time. Of course, then Open Carry came out and they're like, yeah, we don't want Open Carry in our restaurants. And now, of course, it's owned by Chicago. But, yeah. Well, we want our customers to feel comfortable. Okay, well, what if I feel uncomfortable not having it? So whose comfort are you really more concerned with? There's a, is it over at the Waterburger or over here? There's like a statue. I think it's over here. That we took a picture. It's like some an old couple statue sitting on a bench. And we put our rifles on over their shoulders. They stole that. They stole the lady off of it. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. I figure we can just go down to the next light and shoreline there and then head back I didn't need it to be a marathon
Where is he? There he is. Can't tell. Oh, look. I can't. Yeah, there's someone there. Guess they found it. Yeah, I think it's like found it in the, in the water. <laughs> That's just stupid. What's the point of that? We wonder why. I don't, I don't get all the the scooters and stuff. I, I prefer to walk or ride my bike. <laughs> Exercise my rights and my body. I wonder what's down there if we go down there. I guess just the pier. The marina. Oh, the crab shack. Oh, Joe's crab shack's down there. And the marina. Okay. I love the smell of seawater. For some reason, I just had a flashback to Yokosuka, Japan, when my dad was stationed there, because it's right there on the on the uh, ocean as well, or on the coast. So you can always smell the sea. So what was it you said you did here? What? What do you do here? I work for... Oh, security. Haul. Oh, no. Oh, no, I do heavy haul. Heavy haul, okay. Who was it? I guess it was someone else that said, oh, he couldn't make it if he worked in security. That's what it was. That's the other byproduct of Almost Park is my short-term memory and retention is terrible. I don't know how I'm going to do in... In uh, law school, I remember my last semester of college was when that happened, and it screwed me up. My writing went down the tubes. Uh, let's see, across here or over there? Yeah, I'll just cross here. doing yeah some cute dogs there I qualify for a service dog but I my house is so small we had a dog and then I went to Afghanistan and it got run over while I was in Afghanistan okay. so I've got cats <laughs> and they're indoor cats so they don't get run over The police station's over here. There it is. Okay, I'll say I do. The police station's over here somewhere. Because I think that's where we met when we did that rally here. I don't know if he's watching, but if you're around, Batosai. One down. Bring the back car with you. His video, his video at Almost Park is going to be the one that buries that department in that city. Because his was the most clear. He was sit, sitting right across the street. 
maybe 25 feet away. Michael Cloud. So a very uneventful trip, guys. This is great, this is good. There's only two of us, so it's not like uh, they're afraid or because there's a big group of people out here with guns and they're leaving us alone. It's it's at, and there's just one of us carrying a rifle, so if they felt empowered to be stupid, they would be able to, but they're not. And so I say kudos to uh, Corpus Christi Police. Like I said, I didn't have any idea that it would be a problem anyway, because last time we were here, I remember the, I've got a video, I think on this channel from about, let's see, it's 2019, so about five years ago. Um where a police officer pulled right up and just started talking to us. Normal, wasn't asking a bunch of questions, just talking to us. Had a great conversation and uh, it's either on this channel or it's on the Open Carry Texas channel. Just gotta scroll back about five years, find the Corpus Christi uh, video and you'll see that great police officer. So it's good to see that in five years, nothing has changed. Oh man, I missed the helicopter taking off. How did I not hear that? Oh, never mind. It was over there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was over there. Oh, no. oh, it's over there. Yeah, but no, it took off already. Oh, did it? It's all the way back to the dock. That's a quiet helicopter. So, hey, y'all, thanks for uh, walking with us. I appreciate it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because we're pretty much done. I don't want to put my vehicle on camera. So, so we got a new vehicle and already Antifa is out there trying to, uh, well, not trying to. They're, they're doxing me and my family. So... Hey, I agree, JD704. It really doesn't matter if they like it or not. That's not what I really care about. What I care about is how they translate their preference into action. And so um, I like that whether they like it or not, they don't show that they don't like it. And um, so I'm here, uh, I'll be here tomorrow in Corpus Christi. If you're down here in Corpus Christi, yeah, and you know what? I hope they do. I don't say that about many people, but um, I'll tell you, I, I'm not a very violent person, but Antifa definitely makes me want to get violent, and uh, that's that, that's the fight that I always hope for. I just look for a reason for Antifa to take a swing. I mean, they'd have to throw the first punch. Um, or that I have to defend someone else, but I'm not normally uh, itching to get in a fight except for Antifa. But anyway, I'm going to be here tomorrow also in Corpus Christi. I'm going to the uh, Corpus Christi Comic Con, and I've decided that uh, the Darth Texan is going to make his inaugural appearance at the, at the Corpus Christi Comic Con. So uh, I'll have some pictures and video from Comic-Con as well uh, tomorrow. But if you're in Corpus Christi, you want to meet up, I'll be there all day tomorrow. It's at the, is it America's Bank Center? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Bank of America or America's Bank? Bank of Center. Something like that. But that's where it's going to be at. And uh, so if you want to want to hang out there. But as soon as the Comic-Con's over, we are taking off and I'm heading back home. 
again thank you all so much for your support and uh yeah greta i'm old too but you know i'll i'll, I'll spar i'll get down until my bones break but i get it i i gotta i gotta that's why i'm hoping that they want to fight me sooner rather than later because i'm only getting older and slower but all right y'all hey take care be safe be free i'll see you guys uh next oh really quick don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe also if you're on my facebook uh and you're wondering why did i unfriend you i did not unfriend you i uh deleted my account because it kept every 30 days i was in jail anyway and i got really fed up with that i'm in i was in jail anyway and so I said, you know what, screw this. I'm not gonna wait on my account to be out of jail again. I'm just gonna freaking leave Facebook. So I do have my Facebook page, my public page, that you can like and still send me messages to. But if you're looking for me on your friends list, no, I did not unfriend you. I just finally deleted my account. I'm also no longer on Twitter. I was banned on Twitter. American Bank Center, that's it. Uh, I'm also banned on Twitter. So what I will also ask you to do is what I'm probably going to end up doing is moving to my blog because nobody can censor me on my blog. And my blog is, even though I haven't, uh, I haven't written there in a little bit, I mean, I, I write there every now and then, but it's a soldiersperspective.com. So all basically one word, a soldiersperspective.com. I'll be keeping the YouTube channel up as long as YouTube doesn't censor me. And then I'm also on Parler, P-A-R-L-E-R, -E the Parler app, which is kind of like a social media. Um, and and you know I, hey, I get it, I get, I get it. But I think if people start leaving Facebook, um, it won't be the major platform that it is. And quite frankly, I I'm not out there for me. So whether I'm seen or not, I don't really care too much about. The Open Carry Texas page is still active. The CJ Grisham page is still active. I'm going to use those, but I'm not going to use my account to help Facebook make money. And so I went ahead and deleted that. And quite frankly, I, I just don't care if I, I get it. I get that uh, it's a major platform and it's the way that information gets shared the best. But go to a soldiersperspective.com and just put in your favorites uh, on your on your browser. Uh, come August, I will be writing there much more actively. And by the way, before I before I even got big on Facebook, my blog was the number one military blog. I got invited to the White House twice. I got to meet President Bush. I got invited by Obama, but he didn't come out of the Oval Office to meet with us. Um, I am going to create a, ma a mailing list, a manual, so I will have a mailing list as well. That that way, I can get that information out there. But I can I can make that blog again. I've got a lot of awards for that blog back when I was writing regularly to it. And the great thing about the blog is I can I can actually uh, be a lot more thoughtful and, and informative on a blog post as opposed to a Facebook post. All right, so really this time, God bless, take care, be safe, and above all, be free.